amazing out there. This is so dope, but y'all look amazing, man. Let's give a hand clap for yourselves. Y'all look great. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so uh, as she said, my name is Lala. I'm the chef and manager here at Lala's Kitchen. Um, I got a company called the Progress Support Media Group, man. We just decided to deal with revolt, so hopefully y'all will be seeing more of me. But tonight we're here to celebrate Mr. Scotty ATL. Scotty. Yo. How are you feeling? Wow. I feel great. I feel, yeah. um, this shit seems unreal. It's like I'm living in a dream. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to have a brief Q&A, guys, man, just to learn some stuff about Scotty. You know, we're going to talk about some entrepreneurship stuff, some artistry stuff, and all that good stuff. All right. So uh, first and foremost, man, he just released the album, you know. So how are you feeling mentally right now? Um, I feel great mentally releasing this album. I'm not going to lie. I was like every day, like listening to it, going back and forth, going to the studio. I just wanted to make sure it was perfect. And um, I just know in the past, so I've been reading this book, right? Mm. This book is called Confidence, but it's not about really about having confidence. It teaches you about like, if you have a problem or you feel like something is going wrong, like studying that or, or digging deep into it so that you feel more competent, mm. which in turn you'll be more confident, you know, in what you're doing. And so I just wanted to be super competent. You know, I wanted to be, I wanted to be in my bag for real. So man, I studied this shit and went in and I feel like it's some of my best work, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hey, real quick, let's make sure we show respect to the stage, y'all. We are here for Scotty ATL. So in the back, let's show respect to the stage, please. All right. Um, so yeah, now respect, man. And um, like I said, the project is out now. So I hope everybody in here has had the pleasure to listen to it. It sounds amazing. It's mixed and mastered perfectly, man. Thanks. So let's get into the project real quick. So it's called From Candler Road to Melrose. Yeah. So I want you to talk about the significance of the title and how is this body of work different from your previous body of works? Okay, so the significance of the title, Candler Road to Melrose, my, my store that I started, Grills by Scotty, is on Candler Road. I'm from the east side. I grew up in La Donia, you know, on Marble Road. Let go, let go, let go. Okay. Okay, what's happening? Marble Road is in They in here. Stop playing. Hey, but well, look, look, look. So, Candler Road, like, it meant a lot to me to, to have a store on the east side, sure. you know? But, like, again, it's business. So, I, I want to do my due diligence. Of course, I want to have my store in certain areas. But like, I want to be in, in a location too where I feel like it was certain traffic, you know what I'm saying? So Keller nice. Road, we right across the street from the library. You know, it's a lot of stuff going on in this area. It's, it's a growing like area. And so um, now having my store in LA on Melrose, I wanted I wanted people to like be able to travel in and like- That's hard. And ride through the experience. Hey, you know that's hard as hell. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Respect, man. Um, so again, let them know real quick, where can they get this project, real quick? It's out everywhere right now on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you can find it, you know what I'm saying, it's out. Okay, so I need everybody to get their phones out, man. I really hope y'all got this project because it's, it's definitely some dope shit that can get you through your day, your night, however you feeling, all right? Now, speaking of, you know, locating businesses here, there, can we talk about some of these crazy deals you've been, you know what I mean, posting about? You got a, a brand deal right now with Puma, which is fucking crazy, and then the Atlanta Hawks. Wow. Like, that's the NBA team of Atlanta? I mean, come on, man, you gotta talk about that real quick, because that's, I know, I know when you in the moment, you living in it, it probably don't even feel real like you just said earlier, but talk about, talk about that shit. So, the Puma shit, right, um, somebody hit me on Instagram and was like, yo, some people interested in doing a collaboration with you, and I ain't say who it was, mm. you know? Um, I reached out to these people and they were like, man, we want you to collab with Puma. Crazy. And so I'm like, damn, this shit, you know, it was crazy because what was crazy to me the most was because like I was inspired by Nipsey Hussle and what he did with Puma. Of course. You feel me? Like it wasn't it wasn't just because it was Puma. 
for real. I'm just right. keeping it real. It was like just the, like the connection that I knew he had with them. He made it cool. You know what I'm saying? And so I was like, damn, like you know, the marathon continues. You know what I'm saying? So. Sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. But um, but the house, the house shit was was like crazy, man. So, so like with each with each collab, it was different. Mm. You know, the Puma, what they was asking me to do was, okay, boom, we want you to represent Atlanta in a different way. It was just really broad, you know. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, you know, I came up with the idea to have three different models. Mm -hmm. And I felt like people look at Atlanta in a certain way, right? Like, it always got to be hood or it always got to be, you know, a certain way. And we, you know, we wear gold teeth and shit. And I'm, I'm proud of what we do. You feel me? But I want to I wanna still show people that, like, Atlanta is different than what you might think. Just because, Absolutely. like... I don't want people to always judge and have a certain mentality to what people think how we look. So I had a fireman, you know, that he wore the Puma grills and we shot him outside of a burned down house, you know what I'm saying, or apartment building. Yeah. Um, we shot my son, <laughs> which I didn't tell them, what, you know, it was my son for real. <laughs> but it was, it was so, it meant so much to me to shoot my son. Of course. Um, just because, like, yeah, that's hard, man. That's hard, Scotty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, you know, you want to leave a legacy. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and um, that shit mean a lot to me. For sure. You know, it's um. We start off with, with nothing, a lot of times, you know? It's black men, more how shit. Yeah. You gotta grind, you gotta get this shit out of the mud. And so, you know, other races, they start off sometimes with a lot of shit. Man, come on, man. So, man, like, I done did so much shit for my kids, like, you know, keeping it real. Last like, week, like, I went, I got my, I put my own wheel in place, you feel me? Just in case some shit happened to me, yeah. I want my kids to be able to benefit out of the shit I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I put bank accounts and shit in place for my kids so that they straight forever. Sure. So having my son in that shit meant a whole lot. You feel me? Definitely. So he can have something on his resume. When he get older, he can start off with a Puma collab. Yeah. That's fine. Hell yeah. You know what I'm Hell yeah. Real shit. But um and then the last the last lady was from the WNBA. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it meant a lot to me. She's a she's a black female that play in the WNBA and I felt like that's overcoming so many odds mm -hmm. as a black woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To be wearing those gold teeth and, and how that pool man up. Uh, it just it just really showed so much and dignified, you know, so much power and excellence, and excellence. I wanted to be able to show that, you know what I mean, right. as a representation of like black women in Atlanta. You could be anything, you know what I mean? Nah, respect, I like that. I sure. like that a lot, man. We gotta give it up again for those collabs. Cause that's huge. That's yeah. huge. Whatever you do, Thanks. if you work in a job, if you try to start your own business, you know, everybody go through discouragement. I don't care what you do, you know what I'm saying? Um, you gotta keep going through the tough time. That's just the reality. You know, some people can't handle, you know, the pressure sometimes that come with life. And I always say, it ain't even, when you really get in this shit, bro, it ain't even really about the talent. Keeping it real, it's about who gonna press through, who gonna be consistent, who gonna be disciplined. Then the niggas, like, think about this, right? You might see an artist and be like, man, this nigga shit trash as fuck, right? But he might be working harder than you. You know what I'm saying? And when you start looking at it like that in every area of life, it don't matter what you're doing. Making t-shirts, making bowls, making rap music, the nigga that's consistent and is disciplined, 
You keep going when it's tough. Mm -hmm. It's going to get tough, nigga. This is life. <laughs> this is life. That's you might well go and prepare yourself. It's going to get tough. So what can you do to, like, you know, like, keep your head straight when it gets tough? I read books. I work out. I, I got a mentors. Mm -hmm. You know, just different people I talk to because I know it ain't going to be peaches and cream all the time. So I want to be prepared. So I could be successful. Yeah, yeah. That's simple. All right. Well, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to turn the fuck up. I'm ready to hear some of this new music. Um, Scotty, I appreciate your time, and I hope everybody out there, man, caught some yes, shit. You know what I mean? Um, and making sure y'all listen to that new project. Get y'all Shazams out. Scotty, let the people know what's next. And um, shit, let's turn up. Yeah, so um, we're going to get into some music. My man going to spend some... Hey, give it up for my dog, Hell too, Hell yeah. Man. Salute the DJs, oh, man. Gold Tooth Truth in this motherfucker. It's Gold Tooth Truth Shut in the mix. we going to get into some exclusive music um, off my new project, Counter Road, The Mayor Rose. I'm excited to play this shit for y'all. Listen, I'm going to tell you.